You want to hear this? What time is it? Oh, uh, we have to go. I cannot believe it just started raining. I Why? know. It's... We told you to check the weather. I did, I did, but I mean, it's Michigan. What do you expect? I mean, is any of your guys' places open? My mom's gone. Then we should probably head out. We don't want to stay in this cold. I'm yeah. Freezing. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Nine one one. What is the address of your emergency? Hello, I'm I'm in the Sterling Heights parking lot, the north end. There's been a really bad accident. I I think one of my friends is dead. I I don't know. I'm injured. So okay. many other people. All right. All right. Take a deep breath. What kind of vehicles are involved? Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay. All right. What's your name? Um, my name's Genevieve. Genevieve. Okay. Um. All right. You said multiple people are injured. Yes. Stretcher over that way, we we and then raise it up. Yep, stop. Go put a cover. What happened? Um, you guys heard it all? Driving, all right, go ahead and go in the window. Take C first, then B, then A. Go up here. C first, yeah. C first, B, A. I didn't see it. Just sit tight right here. We'll be right back, okay? One fatality on the hood. And, uh, one priority, one victim in the back. Okay. We're going to extricate her. We're taking off the, the car before now. He's, he's uh, deceased. Okay, thank you. Let us know if you guys need anything. Up and over, somebody get on the spreader, start the fifth door. Cut down low. Get another okay? guy. Okay, very good. Keep going, keep going. It should give way here. Right here. Uh, okay. Lift up your side. Lay down on the floor. Okay. 
one right now. Come to grab this one. You get all you get on your body. Okay. For me, wiggle your feet. Can you feel me touching one side? Okay, I'm gonna move your arm a little bit. Can you wiggle your fingers? I'm on your abdomen. Yeah. Hair it over here. No, it's gonna look for an IV. What's going on, dear? You okay? What happened? He swerved into you? Who's he, the other car? Okay. What car were you in, dear? That one, the one You're in the other one. Okay. Was she alone in that car? No, I was in the passenger. And my friend that was driving is the one who went through the windshield. I didn't mean to hit them. I didn't see them. Were these two together in that car? Yeah, uh, she was the one driving. Okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Were you with her in that car? Yeah, yeah. I was okay. There. Doing okay? It's her blood. She's okay though, she says. Okay. Alright, so where were you coming from today? Uh, we were at my house and we left. Um, Who's we? Are you two were you two together in the car? Yeah. Okay. You heard it all? Oh I can see. Uh, Alright. No. Okay. Alright, so what happened? We left. We were hanging out. Um, we had a couple of drinks and we were in a rush, so I just, I just left and I didn't see the car, but I woke up and Brad was on the He was okay. on the windshield and I just... I'm sorry, you said you had a couple of drinks? I yeah. had a, okay. I had drugs you, on me. Yeah, I had yeah. drugs on you. Okay. All right. Why don't you guys just have a seat for a minute? Just sit down on the ground, okay? Benjay, she says she's been drinking and he says he has drugs. I'll set that up there for right. tech. I also, hey, I got these too. Uh, vape pens? How much would you say you had to drink today? I don't know. Two. Two? Okay. Are those your guys' beers that we pulled out of the car? Yes. All right, whose vape pens are those? Mine. All right, would that be the drugs you were talking about? Yes. Okay. All right. I didn't see them. I, I don't know. Okay. I know the guy in the windshield. Is he okay? No, we don't know that right now. Just looking for ID right now, but we got these guys up here. So. All right. Okay. We were in a rush because we had a curfew. I didn't see them. I didn't do it. I didn't. I just okay. saw him on the windshield. <laughs> All right, well, as soon as they're done over there, they're gonna check on you guys again, okay? Cause you got, a, you got quite a bit of blood on you, okay? You said you were in that car, right? The other car? Okay. A couple of beers, you said? Yeah. All right. So do you think you're safe to drive a car? Okay. Obviously not, I don't. The car still? All right, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some field yeah. sobriety tests. Are you okay with taking those field sobriety tests? All right. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna demonstrate each test, all you do is watch me. I'll tell you when to begin. If you have any questions, just ask, okay? All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to stand on that line with your feet together like this. You put your hands at your side, okay? That's the position you'll stand in while I'm giving you each test, okay? Any questions? All right, so the first test is called the horizontal gaze and nystagmus test, okay? I'm gonna test your eyes, so all you're gonna do is follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, you don't move your head, okay? Any questions? Remember, just follow the tip of my finger with your eyes only, don't move your head, okay? The next test we're gonna do is called the walk and turn, okay? So why don't you come on down here where Officer Reynolds is. Just stand right there, we'll face this way, okay? Yeah, remember, you keep your 
your feet together, your hands at your side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your right foot on the line, like this. You put your left foot in front of you. This is the position you're gonna start in, okay? You're gonna take nine heel to toe steps down this line, okay? When you get to the end, all you simply do is keep your right foot planted and you just make a series of turns like this. That makes sense? All right, so you're already in the starting position. You keep your hands at your side. You take nine heel to toe steps down and you take nine heel to toe steps back, counting out loud. One, two, three. Any questions? Okay, you may begin. Okay, very good. We've got two more tests, okay? The next test is called the one leg stand. So again, put your feet together, your arms are at your side. Whichever leg you feel most comfortable with, you will raise that leg six, six inches off of the ground and you'll count one, 1,000, two, 1,000 until you get to 10,000, okay? So for me, I'm gonna keep my right leg down I'll lift up my left leg, my hands are at my side, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, until you get to 10,000, okay? Any questions? Okay, begin when you're ready. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, eight, 1,000, nine, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Okay. The last test I'm gonna give you a preliminary breath test. It's called a PBT. Are you willing to accept that test? Yes. Michigan law requires that you submit to a preliminary breath test analysis upon request of a peace officer, that would be myself. Your refusal to submit to a, requ a requested test shall result in you being charged with a civil infraction with a penalty up to a $100 fine. Do you still wish to take the test? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is called the breath test, okay? You can see it's registering zeros, it's ready to go. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna seal your lips around the tube and you're gonna blow out of it until you hear it click or I tell you to stop, okay? Do you have any questions? All right, begin. Very good. Okay, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Olivia. Olivia, okay, it shows me here that you're a .17, which in the state of Michigan means that you're a super drunk, okay? You've been drinking and driving. You've caused what appears to be a serious fatal accident. Okay, so at this time now, we're gonna place you under arrest for drinking and driving, okay? All right, hang tight, okay? You said 0.17? Yeah, 0.17, super drunk. I'll grab the uh, scanner out for uh, measurements. You gonna take her to the jail? Yeah, I'll take her in if you wanna start. All right, I'll start the measurements. Two beers, they both have beer in them. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, if just collect that I'll evidence collect and that, take photos, that'll be huge. I already got my overall photos done. Yeah? Hello, are you the father of Bradley? Yes, I am. Okay, may I come in and have a word with you? Uh, unfortunately, I have to, I'm here to tell you some very unfortunate news about your son Bradley. Uh, he and his friend uh, were leaving Dodge Park and there was a pretty significant crash involving your son. And uh, unfortunately, I'm here to tell you that your son was uh, killed in that crash. You're kidding. Please tell me you're kidding. No, unfortunately, I'm not. I wish I was. Well. Oh, God.
right, guys, we got a 17 year old female here involved in a head on collision. Patient was restrained, positive airbag deployment. Pass or er, driver of the vehicle is deceased. Um, she was altered when we got there, loss of consciousness. Respirations are four, DCS of four. A and O times zero. What were vital signs? Vital signs are 75 over 30, heart rate of 60. Is that a seat right there? Okay, I'm going to read you your chemical test rates. I am a peace officer. You are under the arrest for the offense of operating a vehicle while intoxicated due to the consumption of alcoholic liquor, a controlled substance, or other intoxicating substance, or a combination. Will you agree to take my chemical test today? Pam, when you get a chance, can you get a second IV right there? Right now. I see signs of blood force trauma to the head, trauma to the chest, probably abdominal trauma too. Continue to bag her. And we call for x-ray. We got fluids going. Hey, uh, can you pop over here and just bag her for me? Help me out bagging her. Let's call the blood bank for some blood. Scott, do you still feel a pulse? Uh, very faint. Very faint. All right. We got the second IV. Good. We got pressure in there. Did you guys call the blood bank yet? Yeah, some, uh, someone outside just ran and called the blood bank. Okay. Okay, go ahead and stand on those black footprints over there. Face the wall, look straight ahead. Okay, good. Now stand on the white footprints. Face this way. Look straight ahead. Do we still have a pulse? I'm not feeling one. You want, you want to double check real quick? Check too. I don't feel a pulse either. Let's do CPR. Let's do a pulse check. Still no pulse. None of this is working. Time of death, 
quickly as we could. And unfortunately, as the doctor explained to you, there was just nothing we could do. All right, calling the case of People versus Goshman. Uh, for the record, the prosecutor? Alyssa Albright on behalf of the prosecution, Your Honor. All right, in your name, ma'am? Olivia Gossman. All right, today's time date set for a sentencing um, on your charge, which you are charged with and being sentenced on today, two counts of operating while intoxicated causing death, which is a 15-year felony on each count. So before the court uh, makes its sentence, the court would like to hear statements. Is there anything from the prosecution? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, this is an absolute tragedy. Two innocent lives were lost due to Ms. Gossman's actions. Therefore, the prosecution would ask that you impose the harshest sentence that's available under the law. Thank you. Your Honor, my client has prepared a statement. It's a tragedy to be here, but she'd like to address it in front of the court. As a teenager in high school, I never imagined something like this could happen to me or anyone around me. I only just got my license and I was overwhelmed with the thought of people needing me for something like a ride, so I didn't think twice when I was asked for one. I'm so sorry for the pain I caused the victims, friends and family, as well as my own. Um, the events of that day still don't feel real. It's, it feels like I'm living in a dream. I can't continue to apologize enough for what happened to the two people's families. All right, after hearing from the prosecutor, the defense counsel, and the defendant, I would like to say this is one of the worst cases that I've seen in my court. There are two victims in this case who have lost their life. You have not only affected your life, you've affected your family, your mom's here today. I saw her crying. Also, you've affected the parents of the victim and affected the community. You have hit or caused a ripple in the water that can never come back. It is a horrible choice that you cannot redo and you can't take back. It, it greatly pains me to see this type of case where someone has so much promise, so much life ahead of them, not only you, but the victims involved, and it's taken away in one second. As I say all the time in court, it takes one second to change your life if you make a bad decision, and drinking and driving is one of the worst decisions you can make at your age. So based on everything that's been said, everything that the court feels that needs to be addressed, I feel that it is appropriate that you go to prison. It, it breaks my, it, it can, it, it's very difficult for me at the age of 17 or 18 to send someone to prison. But when you participate in things like this, you, you need to spend some time and reflect and show the community and other people, other persons of your age, how serious and how this changes people's lives. So on count one, I will sentence you to the state prison of 15 years. For count two, I will give you 15 years. So it's a total of 30 years state prison time. I'm going to run them consecutive. So it's 30 years. So by the time you get out, um, hopefully you'll be able to um, share what you've learned, what you've seen, and you can share with other students and people about your experience so they understand the reality, not the fantasy, of what goes on in the real world. So at this, po at this point, I would ask the bailiffs to come and get you and escort you into jail, and then you will be going to prison.
change.